Hi guys, Eric with Mimosa Networks. Today I want to show you how to ground a C5 Mimosa client radio and incorporate a NID network interface device that will protect from electrostatic discharge. And if you're in Florida, Pocatello, or parts of the Southwest and get some semi-direct hits, this is for you. Here's our number 10. I'm going to take some of these and we'll roll that around a little bit and we'll pull it off and we'll take our ring terminal and I've got the copper just at the edge here. I'm just going to set this in here and, and there's the ring terminal in place there. Okay, when we uh, ground the C5 here, we're going to go here, you'll see the yellow flag. Okay, so here's our NID. It's got two RJ45s here, two RJ45 feed bells here, and we bring the radio Cat6 direct burial in one side, and we exit this side and go into the house, or vice versa, it doesn't matter. It works both ways. I've already put a little ground wire on here as an example. With the ground wire, we'll, we'll come to this point, we'll strip this down, number 10 wire, and here's an adjustable uh, ground clamp, and they're available in larger sizes, and this is one of the smaller pieces. So strip down, come into here, tighten this screw down with your, uh, with your screwdriver, of course. And then this piece here is adjustable. Uh, you can even rotate, flip this piece here if you have a small diameter pipe, EMT pipe, copper water pipe. We're going to bring the Cat6 direct burial down, and it's going to go in the NID. And I've got my ground point here. This exits out of the NID, and I'll show you the termination point around the corner. And then this port here, this goes into the house to our uh, equipment and to our uh, POE. So we've got voltage uh, in and out here to feed the radio. As an alternative here on this NID, you could take the entire NID and place it right over the opening or actually penetrate the house through the NID. And so there'd just be a single black wire coming out here with the ground. So this guy goes into the POE, could actually go right into the box here. It's a little tough to maneuver sometimes. This outdoor direct barrel jacket is a little stiff, so I, I chose to just kind of bring it out and to silicone or RTV it right here and seal it up. Here's the other end of our ground wire here. Comes up to a ground clamp. And before I place this on here, this is all copper, and this goes to earth. So any ESD or electrostatic discharges or electrostatic buildups will be discharged to earth here. This is as short as possible, this run. And also, this is painted, so I took a pair of pliers and rotated it like this on the pipe and kind of bared the pipe itself, getting rid of some of the jacket or the paint, and then put the clamp on. So we want two grounds, one to go to the NID and a second independent ground to go from the C5 to a copper or EMT pipe. This screen wire goes directly from the C5 to this completely separate ground. So that's all we have today. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our site and contact us. See you next time.